Good morning, everyone. So this morning, we had our caravan booked in at Caravans in Broome to have a caravan put in. And basically hooked the van up, drove over there to have it there at nine o'clock for them. And after speaking with the owners, they sort of didn't want to do the job. And, <laughs> and it was, it was sort of, it just felt like it was too much work for them. Like he just wasn't interested. And after talking back and forward, he decided it'd be better if I did the job and save on the labor. So, um, yeah, here I am with this brand new caravan and it's got to go in here up in there so we're, pl we're replacing the roof hatch that's in above the toilet and ensuite i'll walk you inside i've already started pulling this apart all right we're about to crack into the install video and I thought I would go through exactly what a caravan is. Um, basically, it's a positive pressure system. You mount it on top of your van. It pulls air in with a big ass fan through a filter. And basically, any little gaps you have in your seals and stuff, it pushes air out. So it won't allow dust in. That's how it's supposed to work anyway. So we do have like door vents which are pretty big there's a vent just up there behind the fan um they're all in there due to gas regulations so Aww. we do get a bit of dust in there yeah. and in there and also from these roof hatches because they don't have a seal or a dust seal or anything around them they basically just have a very fine air gap where the plastics meet so people have been known to get dust trickling in from the fan uh from the vent onto the beds or onto the kit uh kitchen table benches kids bedrooms basically anywhere you have one of these hatches and yeah it basically pushes air out of all those gaps and preventing dust from getting in so with that all being said let's crack on with the install which is about that much too short so, got to make the opening bigger. I've got to go to Bunnings and get all the Sikaflex and silicons and all that sort of stuff. But we will get the caravan in there. Let's get into it. You can go ahead and just rip all these screws out. Anything that's screwed in needs to be unscrewed. And then it just hangs down like this. And I think we will... We'll unplug all this wiring and stuff, all right? Oh, there you go. One right there. Oh. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna undo it right here where these two join. Yeah. Snip that off. And then that will be out the way, and then I think this will be siliconed in from the top. Oh, I don't want to get on top of the van. Anyways, we're going to have to. We're just going to have to do it. God. Sometimes you've just got to get on top. But it's just so much more work. First thing I'm going to do is try and remove this roof hatch. So, I might set you up on the tripod and see if we can get this hatch out. Looks very siliconed in, so this could be interesting. Yeah. And let's cut most of the silicon. I just need something to get under here. I've got a big ass egg flipper in the barbecue area, so Kat's gonna grab that for me and hopefully I can jimmy it off with that. And then we'll just clean up all the silicon. 
Hopefully. Bit of a miss. Got to clean up this um, and get all the glue off. Hello. And clean up all the silicon here so you can start fresh. So we're all cleaned up. This is the old fan. I can just go, go over there for now. Now, one thing that I wasn't aware of is that how close this solar panel and this thing was. So just have to configure this, configure this so that it doesn't interfere with anything. And we should be good to go. I'm pretty sure it can go like any orientation. It's not gonna cop a whole lot of wind, so. Yeah, all right, well, I might have a play around with the positioning of this and we'll give you guys a look, hey? See where it ends up. I'll sort of um, just put it. It'll miss the door and it won't um, block too much light from the solar panel. But if I go the other way, like this, I can move it that way. Sort of there. Don't hmm. know. Eh? I feel like I like it this way more. What do you guys reckon? I know it's no point me asking you this video will be out and this will be in the roof, but drop it in the comments how you would have done it. I feel like um, we could just get away with it that way. It'll miss everything. Um. So the problem we've got is that aircon is bloody tall, so it blocks a lot. You can see where the sun, the shadow is on it. So I don't want to keep blocking too much of the sun by things that are up on the roof. <sighs> All right, I feel like I'm going to put it right there, right where it is there. That'll do. That's going. That's going to be where it lives. Um, yep, that'll be it. Lock it in, Eddie. Lock it in. Plenty of clearance there. Alright, I'll mark this up and then we get to cutting. It's always fun cutting into your caravan. I've worked out my position. 
So now I've just got to cut along this line. And then it should be right to drop in. Sorry for the noise in the park, guys, but I don't really have an option here. Be alright if there's somewhere else I can go. Oh well. So that's the first layer cut through. There's the inside of the roof there. It's just got this foam. So it's just two layers of fiberglass, like most composite vans. And it's got this like foam filler that um, insulates it, insulates it. And it works really bloody well. This is van's nice and cool and I think it helps because we got the solar as well, so it's like two layers. So, all right, I'll cut this in inner skin and then that should be all the noisy stuff done, hopefully. just been dropped in as you saw and that's it there so yeah a bit rough all right a little bit but it's got a it does have a shroud around it so you won't see any of these cuts a little bit bigger than it needs to be which is good because we've got to tuck a little bit of wiring in there and stuff but um I might connect these couple up and just make sure it works so I've, I've just done a quick twist up there, just to check it. Um, I've got a switch there. Oh, she's a ripper. That's a um, pretty powerful fan, eh? Alright, so that's all good. I think we'll go back up on the roof and silicon it down. So as you can see, it does have I don't think it's designed for a 30 mil roof. I think the minimum for these would be like 40. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack it up just a little bit with. Hang on, let me undo these. Because I need to pull that back up on the seal on the roof. Um, it comes with this surround. This one here and obviously I need to trim that to about 30 mil so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these up into little packers and I'm going to pack it up about five mil and I'm just going to goop the hell out of it silicon it on and uh, should be good to go by a relatively easy install so far, just a little bit noisy for a caravan park, but only got one bad look from the neighbours. This one came out like, what the hell's going on? That's alright though. We're all, we're all done with the noise now. Alright, um, let's make these packers up. Got to clean the area that the silicon's going to go, and the caravan actually has this big flange around it, so you can silicon that in. And then it's got it's got six spots for screws, so you just want to match your screw thickness to whatever your roof is. So I'm going to need something around, you know, less than 30 mil, so it doesn't go through into the inside. Which I've got, I've got a box of assorted screws down there, so it should be fine. Most of it is going to be held into place with the silicon, so use a lot, a lot of silicon, as much as you can, and um, just sort of let it ooze out the sides, but we're going to... Hey girls, do you like your new sunroof? I feel like Barbie. What? You can just cut that out. <laughs> Edit. Sunroof, you know. Woo! Like a Barbie jeep. Oh, Barbie Jeep, yeah. Just cut this out. Edit. Alright. So I've got to clean up all this outside area and I'm going to give the surface of the caravan a wipe as well. 
Now I don't have any like wax and grease remover or anything, but I do have this wheel cleaner and it's got a lot of the same stuff in it. Like this is designed to get brake dust and um, oils and everything out. So this should be fine. Just got to use what you got. All right, so I'll clean this up, silicon, drop it into place. And then we got to go inside and make sure that the, the surround can fit on it. Then we come back up top put the screws in and then we're done um, and because our roof is a is a thin roof it's only 30 mil we need to space it up so i'm going to use two of these little offcuts along sort of where this probably in between where the screws are going to go so i'll put like one there one over there one over there one over there it's basically just to space it up like it's not it's not going to affect it at all and it will make the inside finish a lot better all right i'm going to crack on with that and show you the results when we're done surrounding you can see that it all fits in good so we can go back up top and put put a few screws in it tack it down and then we'll come back inside and we'll tidy up the wiring and stuff but so far it's looking good <sighs> let me show you my ladder system I've made up it's um fairly intricate <laughs> All right, hang on, I'll grab some screws first. I need my drill. <clears throat> Put all this stuff over here. Yeah, I will, I will um, go and get some more silicon soon and we'll overseal around the flange of it. All right, I need some, maybe these. Gabby tape measure, trusty tape. I can't see what I'm doing right now. So that's, they're just under 30 mil, but with the spacer and everything, they should be good. I need six of them. I'll take the drill up and screw it into place. So yeah, this is how we get up and down. Climb there, 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 there. what you have to do when you're working on the road. Let's see how we get up. Yeah. 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 And yeah. Just easy like that. Not at all. Alright. I'll wax some screws in here. And then only just reach across there. Yeah, here's your screw holes. So I'll whack these screws in and should be almost completed. Eh? We're at the business end of the operation here. Filter, foam side down, put a little foam seal around it, and then this beautiful lid. And how good does that look? Eh? And all the hatches and everything still open. Oh, look at the clearance, mate. Hey? Eh? He's bloody good, this kid. Anyways, so they supply a little bag of screws, washer and a little split washer. I'm gonna go around, put, put them on, I think there's eight screws all up. And then you're done up here. And then I'll tidy up and I'll go inside and just put that surround on and tidy the wiring up. 
Está bien. How bloody good do they look, eh? So I've just notched that out because that's where the red cable's going to go through. And then most of the wiring I'm going to tuck up inside the caravan here. It's got a little groove there for it. Uh, I think I'll trim most of this off and then I can tuck most of that up in there. So we'll get that done and should be good to go mate. Might chuck a bit of solder and stuff on it and tape it all up and should be it. Well, it's in guys, and it works. Yeah, so there you go. It's pretty loud, but you know, we're not in the van when that's working. That's uh, specifically for when you're off-road towing, so. I think it's going to work really well. Everyone else that's got these loves them, says that they work a treat, so... Got a lot of, uh... You know, like I believe in the brand and everything. I think it's going to do a great job. Now we just got to test her out, eh? Go find some dirty roads to bash down. Oh yeah, very tidy finish. These are just a couple of screws that I had. I might... I was thinking I might replace them with white ones, but it doesn't... I think it's just, it's fine. Got a bit of black on it anyway, so. Yeah, all right, that's it for the install. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, subscribe. Oh. So yeah, that's it for the install, guys. Beautiful caravan. We're all done. That's it. Install. Carafan. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button for me. And if you want to keep up to date with all our travels and videos like this, subscribe to the channel. It'll help us out a lot. Cheers, guys. See you on the next one. Call me Bucky Nick is lucky that I'm innocent. Uh, if I didn't have no morals, I'd be menacing. Uh, how about nigga rapping conscious, but he ignorant? Uh, how he find a hope, but still won't go legitimate.